Thank you, Corey. I really appreciate you and especially the people that put a lot of effort into today, Brian Keller, Wesleyan, and also thank you to the media that are here. Appreciate the support of Jason Danley and what he's done. Kim, Lincoln Journal Star, does a nice job in, in this area. So we appreciate, appreciate um, all of you that are here. I also want to uh, welcome Coach Hevener, Coach Rethman, to the GPAC. You're entering a great conference, as you well know, one of the most respected in the country. Uh, I appreciate the class that this group of coaches has, and over the years, the camaraderie that I've had, and now welcoming new people. It's just exciting. It's, uh, it's a real challenge each week to compete, and I wish you all the best this year. And uh, I know we're, we're going to go against some well-coached teams. My staff that are here, Coach Robinson, running backs, Coach Sarek, wide receiver, Gary Bull, offensive line, Coach Hoffman, offensive coordinator, uh, Coach Vance Winter, our D coordinator, is back. He, this year, he could not be here today because of another engagement. Uh, we had some key losses this past year, and uh, uh, those were basically in the backfield. Jermaine Lewis, running back for the second team All-American. Jeff Newyer, who was also a special team All-American, so it's going to be hard to replace those people. And also two people on defense, uh, uh, Trent Lowney, a linebacker, and uh, Brett Mertens, a safety. But we did well, I think, in the recruiting process. We did get in. Uh, close to 50 guys. We're going to have about 100 guys reporting for camp, and it's a real good mix of uh, veterans as well as some young talent. So I'm encouraged by that. Uh, to concentrate on the offense, first of all, we, uh, we think that the offensive line is going to be one of the strengths of our team, anchored by Andrew Sunderman, who was a first team all conference left tackle last year. We have Three other starters returning, and uh, the good news about the whole situation is that we really think we have a couple of sophomores that might force the issue for uh, returning starters. So I think that's a real strength for us in the offensive line. Uh, not so true at, at the wide receiver, where we bring back uh, Dayton Dabrica, our only starter, uh, tall 6'5 guy, great team leader, uh, and we really don't have a lot of experience there. And so I won't even get into mentioning names. So we're going to have to rely on some younger people there. The tight end position is up for grabs. Uh, uh, we do have a, a junior finally who we think is, has matured well enough to where he can uh, impact uh, at 6'7", 250. He just hasn't had, had everything together yet. So we think we think that he is, uh, James Refness can, can really uh, help us out this year. Obviously, the running back area is our biggest concern. We, I can't even, I guess I can give you a few names, but they're all no names to you. We did recruit uh, uh, several pretty good backs. Uh, basically, uh, they're freshmen. Uh, one's from California, one's from Texas, but Austin Freudenberg is the uh, returner from uh, Lincoln, or rather uh, Lutheran High Northeast, who we think is, is in the picture to, to be a starter. Uh, the other two are Sean Atkins from Fredericksburg, Texas, and Akeem Christian from uh, uh, California. Quarterback position is up for grabs, and I, I think if there's anything that's going to determine the success of our team, is going to who, uh, be who is going to merge. We had two guys that played a lot last year. We went through spring ball, and we came up with the same analysis that going into fall camp, we still don't know who our starting quarterback is. The good news is they all had a lot of experience last year. So uh, we're going to make a decision on that after small camp, after after a, a fall camp, and uh, we'll see what happens. We do. We did recruit two talented freshmen, but obviously they are freshmen, and uh, we'll see how that works out. On the defensive side of the ball, I think the line again is going to be our strength. Uh, uh, we have a nose guard that uh, was first team all conference last year, Matt Baller. He's 6'2", 285. From Milligan, Nebraska. A side note: He was second in the. Uh, Nebraska uh, big uh, weight man competition and uh, so I don't know what that all means. All I know is he was the only guy who was able to do the farmer's walk, carry two 300 pound weight in each hand and walk 120 feet. Nobody else was able to do that. So we know Matt is strong, he plays well. Uh, I don't know what that means as far as him being a football player but, but we think he's going to be a dominant force inside. Uh, we are encouraged by Brock Simonson at the defensive end and also, we're getting back uh, Kyle Copples this year, who we thought would have been a starter last year, but, but hurt his ankle in the first game. So I think the defensive line will, will be our strength. Uh, linebackers, uh, we don't have a lot of experience there. We have two guys that started different times. 
And so names may not mean a lot to you, but the two seniors that are in the picture are Luke Staub and Jim McCoy. We have depth there, but it's very young. Uh, we're really encouraged by our outside linebacker play. We had a freshman start last year by the name of Jeremy Walrath. Uh, he's a good one, and uh, he'll be he'll be noticed. He, uh, I think he was already all uh, honorable mention last year, and we think he is going to be an impact type player for us. In secondary, we have a lone uh, uh, starter uh, at corner, that's Jimmy Landers. He's starting now, going into his third year, and he's gotten bigger and uh, better. He's uh, he really lifted hard. I think he's going to make a difference for us. We have young guys playing back there, but we're encouraged by the return of Casey Menke, Preston Harris, who's from Lincoln High. I think he's going to be making a difference this year. Uh, Cole Fick, who's from Davenport, I believe uh, he's also going to be in the picture. Um, our kicking game is, is very going to be very questionable. And that's the area that I coach, so, uh, so I've got some work to do. Uh, we're not really sure who, who's going to assume the kicking duties. Uh, part of it because we have a dual sport athlete who's, who's a national champion uh, in 800 meter and he's not sure he's going to compete for us uh, and certainly I can understand that. Uh, but we do have Curtis Miller who's a, uh, a, a kicker from Sioux Falls, South Dakota who has waited his turn and I think he's going to do well. Uh, I don't know who the return specialist is going to be so we've got a lot of work to do in the kicking game. Overall I would just summarize by saying I think we're going to have a solid defense, going to be aggressive, going to be well coached. We've got some newcomers coming in that are going to help us. Uh, several from the state of Nebraska. We recruited uh, Patrick Tyrants from Parkview Christian, who's a, going to be a fine athlete for us in the secondary. We've got an outstanding defensive back on Luther North of St. Louis, who led his team to, to uh, a number of different uh, championships, both uh, offense, uh, both in basketball uh, and uh, so we're excited about Charles Dunbar joining us. I think he'll also be a specialist for us. So, again, uh, we'll be solid defensively. I think uh, we'll have a solid offensive line. We'll just see how the running backs emerge. It comes down again to what's going to happen in quarterback. And I really, really expect that we're going to know by the time the first game comes around. We have a theme each year. Uh, this year it's uh, passion with purpose. It's based on uh, First Corinthians. 9, 24, 27, where the Apostle Paul says, run to win the prize. So uh, I take that to mean that the winning is biblical. And uh, obviously he, there are some spiritual uh, admonitions that have a greater, uh, greater theme, and that is uh, winning the crown of eternal life. So that's our theme, and I'm excited about the season. Look forward to competing with everyone, and good luck to all of the coaches. Any questions? Yes, sir, Ken. You're involved in off a lot of close games the last couple of years, and it seemed like often, you know, short. What, what do you, how do you address that? Hopefully a year of maturity by a few people that, that need to make the plays, and uh, and I think we're going to be just fine with that. I, I don't expect that it's going to go that way this year. We, if we win the close ones, yeah, we're, our record's going to be significantly better in four and six, because we will be competitive. Do you ever review that, that one game with a field goal? Well, you know, those are games you don't forget, Ken, but uh, it's history. So we just have to move on. Yes? Coach Meyer, who, uh, do you mind commenting on the kids that are, you looked at quarterback spot during fall camp? Kyle Schmidt is from uh, Franklin, Nebraska, and a junior college uh, uh, quarterback by the name of Christian Spaulding, who uh, was out of California, and uh, they're both in the picture. They're both good athletes. One has a little better physical presence, another has, has, has better overall game presence. So I, I guess when two quarterbacks are different, you, one has to determine who is going to be the best leader and get, get us in the end zone. And, and so right now that's what we're going to concentrate on.